Hey guys, okay, so I was so still out of Mod Podge for this page, but I decided, okay, well, let's use some Aleens. Um, I'm gluing down some uh, paper towel that I had been using and spraying and cleaning up sprays, so I just took the Aleens and squeezed a whole bunch out and then smeared it on with the palette knife, thinned it out, and glued down this paper towel. Now, because there's two layers of paper towel, I'm going to get two pages out of this, so... Oftentimes I won't um, I won't try to peel apart the paper towel until I'm gluing it down. I'll just glue it down, and then it usually soaks the bottom layer, and then the top layer comes right off. So I just find that's that's usually easier for me. Um, but then sometimes the inside's not as colorful as the outside, so eh, I made it work. So here's that second piece of. Uh, what Diane Reevely calls kitchen roll uh, paper towel and um, so I decided okay we're gonna make this a two-page spread so I'm just tearing off the edges now that it's mostly dry I'm gonna move the mic sorry about all the noise um, so I found out that the journal I'm working in and the the paper I'm working in comes from Prima it's their uh, mixed-media journals the one that I'm working in is discontinued. I got it from a friend, and she's probably had it for ages. So, um, yeah, but you can still find um, similar journals to this. They um, they just don't have the design of the cover in, in the one that I'm working in. So um, I figured that out from Ken Oliver on Facebook. He's a designer at Spellbinders, and... Um, he posted a picture, and I'm like, oh, that's the journal I'm working in, because I didn't know. So I was like, is that a Prima? He said, yeah. So I went and looked it up, and yep, sure enough. It's great having pages that come out. My only issue is I don't remember what order I did stuff in, because even though like there's an order to them, and by the way, I'm sanding the edges just to, to uh, finish them up a little bit with the Tim Holtz sanding block. So I never know what order my pages should go in. I guess I should keep them clipped somehow, but I I don't. So this is a picture frame I got from Michaels. It was in a like dollar fifty section, and it's metal. And um, a friend of mine was like, "Oh my god, these would be great as stencils." I'm like, "Hey, you're right. They would." And maybe not so much on paper towel, but it did add a little bit of interest. Uh, from this point on, I'm pretty much just adding layer upon layer upon layer, just adding some color and some interest. So this is the Hexagon Confetti Stencil from Umwow Studio. And let's see, as you can see, I missed the footage, but I sprayed some uh, midnight or after midnight dilutions on the page through some letter stencils. Now this is a stitching stencil, essentially. Um, and it's got very, very, very tight holes. So I was like, oh, I wonder if I can push some super heavy gesso through this and get a design. And it worked quite well on the piece of paper I did it on, but that was paper, not crumpled up, old, skanky paper towel. So, obviously it didn't work as well on the paper towel. You can kind of see the design, but it worked really, really well on the on the uh, paper. And it's really thick. It's cool. So I took this super heavy gesso and just kind of scraped it all over the place just to hide that mess that I made with the the stitching stencil. I, I don't know what those things are called. Again, I got it from a friend, and it was just in this big mess that she gave me, so. Um, this is eyeshadow from the dollar store, and I'm using it almost like chalk, just to help blend in that gesso. I didn't like how stark the white was, um, and I didn't do this to all of it. So there is still some white on there, but I just wanted to help tone down the gesso a little bit. So I'm just scraping the eyeshadow and then just blending it in. And this is a good example of what not to do. Don't leave your dilutions out on your table and think it's water. It's not. It's not water. So thankfully it matched. It was one of the ones that I had just used, but I did not intend to do that. So This is my homemade chevron stencil and I think I'm spraying with dilutions the white linen I think yeah and um, it had some pink on it from of course it did have pink on it from some other um, 
project and it reactivated that and didn't work the way I hoped it would work. So yeah. So then I went back in and sprayed it again with some uh, acrylic, some spray acrylic. And this is pure sunshine or orange peel or something dilutions through and here's some more plastic needle point and I'm spraying with I think Calypso teal I added a little bit more water to my dilutions because it was running out so they're so potent the dilutions that I figured eh, it'll be fine so it kinda just mucked up that corner but again I'm just adding layer upon layer upon layer to this and um this page doesn't turn out to be my favorite page I've ever done, but it was fun to make and lots and lots of layers. This is my favorite bubble wrap. It's huge bubble wrap. The bubbles are like a an inch. So I sprayed Funky Fuchsia or something, and look at how big those bubbles are. Love them. Love them. So, um, yeah. Watch, watch, watch. Wait, watch. Wait, watch. Oh, awesome. Sorry, I get excited. Okay, so, um, yeah, I, I always have iCADs handy, just index cards, so I can mop stuff up, stuff up with one more month and I get that thing off the roof of my mouth out. I can't wait. I'll still have my braces, but I won't have my appliance anymore, so it'll be a lot easier to talk. So I just took the leftover, sprayed it down with water, and dripped it onto the page just to give it some more color. And now this is some cadmium red or I'm not sure some red acrylic paint and I'm just using a little roll a little leftover cardboard roll from something and I'm just stamping circles all over I had no clue what I was doing on this page I, I very seldom do I just sit down and make a mess and then at the end I'm like oh I should probably journal about something and as you can tell it was probably before noon because there's diet coke and no wine just splattering some of the spattering, excuse me, spattering some of that red paint. Pretty red. And I found this magazine image in in my stash of collage images and I was like, "Ooh, I'm going to cut you out and put you down." Because you're nice and big, and it fit really well on this page, so why not, right? So I sped this up really fast for you, so you didn't have to watch me cutting. Well, you do, but not for too long. So this is the clock stencil uh, from the Crafters Workshop. I'm not sure what it's called, the actual name of the stencil, but um, I like it. I love the stencil. I'm just spraying with some white acrylic again. I, I learned my lesson that the dilutions didn't work that well. So I figured I was going with a clock or a pocket watch. I might as well stick with the clock theme. So I pulled out my fluid matte medium by Liquitex and covered this this side and then the back. And then just started gluing it down. It was very hard to glue down because it was on that um, tissue or paper towel. So it was very difficult. It did not want to stick. Uh, next time I might put a coat of the fluid in that medium or, or cover it somehow with like Mod Podge. I was out of Mod Podge because that's probably what I normally would use because it's thicker. Um, but I'm out. Or I was out. I've got some now. But uh, I would probably coat the whole thing and seal it, let it dry, and then maybe do it then once it's sealed, because that would have something to stick to. Then again, if you use Mod Podge, something thicker would have been better. I should have used some gel medium or something. I'm so just going in and touching up the areas that didn't, didn't get glued down. There's always someone or something in my videos, always. Now the cat is involved. Yes, Lulu. So I was just using up the last of the matte medium by sealing that page on the right. And I think I'm texting right there. 
So this is some chain that I had left over in my stash, and I started with Fabri-Tac, and I thought, eh, no, I'm going to use something a little bit stronger. So I went for my favorite all-purpose heavy-duty glue, E6000. Oh, yeah. Love E6000. So um, I'm just going in and gluing this chain down to, to make it look like a pocket watch. Like the chain's coming off the pocket watch. And then it's also tying in the pages, or tying them together. I knew that gluing down chain would not be easy. This chain is heavy and it's a whole bunch of individual pieces and so E6000 worked the best um, just because it's thick and it dries relatively quickly and it is super 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 strong. Uh, the only issue I have is that you can see the E6000. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it in the pictures or not at the end. But you can see how I glued it down. I mean, you can see a bead of glue around the chain. But I'm I'm okay with that. It is what it is. So I'm just using my Faber-Castell Pit Big Brush Markers and just doing some shading around the pocket watch. Give it a little, little bit of depth. And I cut out the footage, but I did also go around the edges of all of the... The, of both of the pages with the, the marker. And I just touched the edge of the marker to it. I didn't blend out the edges. So I just essentially added black around the edge. See? Darker around the edge. And I have no clue what I'm doing. So since that was sealed down, the normally the dilutions would reactivate if you tried to write on top of it, but because it was sealed down with the matte medium, I was able to write on top of it with no problems. So, and I was just journaling about God only knows what time I would imagine, if that was my theme, so. Um, and I did miss some footage as well of me putting writing lifes and putting that journey rub-on down. It's a Tim Holtz rub-on, so. These are the pages. Like I said, they're not my favorite pages in the world, but they're very colorful, they're very busy, they're uh, very vibrant. So, And like I said, they were fun to make. So I hope you guys like them. Make sure you check me out on Instagram or uh, Facebook. You can like, subscribe. Um, I usually put out videos every Sunday. So see you all soon. Bye.